My name is Bishop Michael Olson. I'm the Bishop of the Diocese of Fort Worth. I'd like to welcome you to the 2014 North Texas Catholic Men's Conference. I hope that it is an experience that helps you to develop your faith, that you can live the authentic freedom of the gospel. And so we're so glad that you answered the call to be here today. Uh, let me read to you the Catholic Brothers for Christ, our mission statement, real quick. Our mission is motivating all Catholic men to building the body of Christ by uniting his brothers, living the gospel values in all areas of our lives, and facilitating faith-building programs in your parish community. This year's theme for our conference is Faith Forges Freedom and Iron Sharpens Iron. When we think of freedom, we like this definition. Freedom is the ability to live responsibly the truth of our relationship with God and with one another. And we reflect on John 8, 32. You will know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Galatians 5, 13 reminds us, For you were called for freedom, brothers, but do not use that freedom as an opportunity for, of the flesh. Rather, serve one another through love. In Ephesians 6, 16 and 17 says, In all circumstances, hold faith as a shield to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one, and to take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. And in Proverbs 27, 17, iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. Faith forges freedom, iron sharpens iron. It's when we gather together in community as men that we can listen, learn, and support each other to renewed life in Christ. So I think we chose pretty wisely on our theme for this year. Throughout the conference, what you will experience. We had an awesome night last night. Who had an opportunity? Show me a round of applause. Who had an opportunity to come join us last night? <laughs> what a great start. High energy, great start to the weekend. What you'll experience today is, is you've already experienced some fun and some fellowship. Um, we're going to have praise and worship and music throughout the day. So I would ask you, when you see the, the graphics of the songs, stand up and sing. Let, let's show glory to God the Father by, by using our voices to praise Him. That's another form of praise and worship. So let's make sure that when the music's going, we're singing, standing, and singing loud and proud. Um, you'll also have an opportunity. We'll, we'll celebrate Eucharistic adoration. We'll pray the rosary. All 762 men that are here, present right now, uh, we'll, we'll pray the rosary together. You'll have an opportunity to practice reconciliation, and we'll end the day celebrating the Holy Mass. And throughout the day, you're going to have an opportunity to hear from four dynamic speakers. They're going to help us become the spiritual leaders we were called to be. We've got Al Cresta. He's the president and CEO of Ave Maria Communication and host of Cresta in the Afternoon. We'll hear from Tim Staples, director of apologetics and evangelization with Catholic Answers. And we'll hear from Father Bill Casey, who's a nationally renowned speaker and a frequent guest on EWTN. Plus, you've got brothers here to support you. Our call to discipleship is beyond this conference. We invite you to plug into men's fellowship groups. We've got Mr. Larry West here sitting on the end. Larry, stand up and wave your hand real quick. See Larry West throughout the day. We've got a table right outside the entranceway here that talks about get plugged in. Whether you're part of a men's fellowship group already, you want to improve one, you want to start one, or you want to locate one, that's our mission here today is to help you get plugged in to other men of the faith so we can support and hold each other accountable. Um, last night we heard from Doug Berry also. He's the founder and director of the Catholic Apostolate Radix, and he appears regularly on EWTN. We've got a strong group of brothers here. All the red shirts I mentioned a minute ago, plus our support team that's going to help with evangelization and helping with men's fellowship groups. Just see any one of us. We'll capture your information, but trust me, we're here to support you in forming your fellowship groups in your community throughout the entire year. We pray, our team prays that everyone here gets to know, love, and serve the Lord even more through this experience. 
Congratulations on making a great decision for being here. And we hope this helps you develop a stronger faith in your family and in your community. And I'll ask you just to bow your heads. We're going to open in a quick prayer real quick. Let go and let God. Whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, think about these things. Today I let my true self, the Christ in me, have full sway over my mind. I let go all negative thoughts that may make me miss the guiding touch of my Christ self. Throughout this day and every day, I keep my mind centered on the positive side of life, the true reality. Repeat these phrases after me. I let go fear. I let in faith. I let go anxiety. I let in confidence. I let go hate. I let in love and forgiveness. I let go darkness. I let in light. I let go gloom. I let in joy. I let go poverty. I let in prosperity. I let go weakness. I let in strength. I let go sickness. I let in health. I let go tension. I let in peace. I let go self. I let in Christ. Amen. Amen. Only by thinking these true thoughts can I live happily and victoriously, and only thinking positively can we create the good life that we're called to have. As I introduce this next gentleman, I, I want to reflect on Isaiah 40, 29, and 31. It's a scripture verse that I think of when, when I encounter this man. He gives power to the faint, abundant strength to the weak. Though young men faint and grow weary, and youths stagger and fall, they that hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on eagles' wings. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not grow faint. 